the objection of the EFF. The next item on the order paper is the motion in the name of the leader of the opposition, Honorable Maimane. Honorable Deputy Speaker. Uh, Deputy Speaker. Uh, please, uh, please take your seat, Honorable shame. Member. Please take your seat. Can we uh, welcome uh, uh, our visitors in the gallery? You are very much welcome, except we don't welcome your clapping and participating in any form that is left for your members in the house here. Thank you very much. Honorable Shivambo, what are you rising on? I'm rising on a point of order to say that we have written you recurrent letters to specifically request that in the process of removing a president because we voted for him through a secret ballot, later on when the voting on this question arises, we need to introduce a secret ballot because it's logical that because we voted a president through a secret ballot, when we have to, re to remove such a president, we should engage through a secret ballot. We know that majority of us here in Parliament Honorable would Member. want to remove a president, but because of fear of victimization, can we agree that at the end of this process, we are going to utilize a secret ballot so that we are able to get rid of the crisis that is facing South Africa and our people remain safe. So that is a concrete issue that we want to table that at the end of Take this seat, debate, Honourable we Member. must have secret ballot. Yeah. Honourable Member, that's not a point of order. And, and secondly, take your seat. Honourable Members, the voting procedures in the Assembly are determined by the Constitution and the rules of the Assembly. There's no provision for a vote on a motion of no confidence in terms of uh, 102 of the Constitution or for the removal of the President in terms of Section 89 of the Constitution to be conducted by a secret ballot. The Constitution provides for specific instances where the Assembly conducts its business by secret ballot, namely the election of the President, the Speaker and Deputy Speaker when more than one candidate is nominated. In the matter of Plomama and others versus the Speaker and another, the Western Cape High Court ruled that there was no implied or express constitutional requirement for voting by secret ballot in respect of a motion of no confidence in the President. For these reasons, and in the interest of the National Assembly obligation, in terms of the Constitution to conduct its business in an open and transparent manner, a vote by way of secret ballot is not agreed to. And as we said to you in writing, Honorable Member, that position remains unchanged. Proceed, Honorable. Uh, Deputy Speaker. Yes, Honorable Member. Deputy Speaker, on, on, on in more than one occasion, we brought to the attention of the Rules Committee, of the subcommittee that dealt with the rules that it's basic logic, it's basic logic that if you vote for a person through a secret ballot, and if you get to a stage where you have to remove that person, a secret ballot must be the method through which you remove such a person. Okay. And we're appealing to you Deputy again Speaker, on a point that of order, we have please. to engage through okay, a secret ballot this, to member. remove a person who voted through a secret ballot. Okay, Why is that difficult? What is difficult right. about that? Okay, take your seat on our member. What is difficult is that for that decision to take place, uh, it must be agreed to in the appropriate structures of parliament, it, and it has not been agreed to. And in the absence of such an agreement, there is no way we are going to agree to that. This house is conducted strictly according to the rules, not by my whims as the presiding officer now or any other presiding officer. Politically, that's the necessity for us to proceed. Honorable Chief Whip. Uh, Deputy Speaker, I don't know why the EFF wants to disrupt workings of this house. 
because Judge Goliath in the Western Cape High Court ruled as follows on the same matter. The Constitution provides, as you have said, but Judge Goliath further said, there is no implied or express continual requirement for voting by secret ballot in respect of a motion of no confidence in the president. We have a court judgment. Why do you entertain this man? Honorable member. Honorable. Deputy Speaker. Honorable uh, Chief Whip. Deputy Speaker, can I yes. respond to that man? Honorable members. Can I respond to that man? Honorable that members. man who goes out to say that Honorable he members. must remove a president Honorable and Chief then he comes and play double standard. Honorable here. member, take can your I seat. respond to him? Take your seat first. Please. Take your seat, Honorable member. Honorable members. Can I respond to that double head Honorable, man who does Honorable not know what he's talking about? No, take your seat, please. Take your seat. Honorable Chief Whip. Uh, Rule 82 uh, requires of us to call each other here, Mr. or Honorable? Uh, Mr. Shivambo. Yes, take your seat. Uh, Honorable Shivambo, the same applies to you. The same applies to you. Honorable Shivambo, the same applies to you. Um, Mr. Jackson, the... Uh, the... The principle... The principle, Deputy Speaker, is that the Constitution says that in order to run the affairs of this House, the National Assembly must pass the rules that are consistent with the Constitution. Yes. And a rule that says that we cannot remove a president who was elected through a secret ballot through the same means is not consistent with the Constitution. Okay. A proper interpretation on how we want to remove a president is that we have to utilize secret ballot because there's a real fear of victimization. Okay. Your members of the ANC Honorable already member. have said that this president must fall. What is, what is difficult about agreeing now that Take we must utilize seat. secret ballot? Take it's a basic seat. thing that we have to do. Take your seat. Honorable members, um, we, we will proceed. The ruling remains. There is no provision for the distinguishing of uh, this matter. We proceed as agreed to. Uh, proceed, De Honorable Deputy Maimani. Speaker. Honorable Deputy Speaker. Honorable Kwangwa, yes. What's May I have your reason? attention, please? Yes. The principle that, uh, that we should try to have a single ballot this time around actually has to do with the fact that we're trying to save you guys, firstly. <laughs> we're doing you a favor. But I think, no, it's true. Should I wait for them to finish? Because I'm going to make my point. Honorable... No, I want to make my what's point. Your, what's the point of order? I no, have I need your protection. Honorable members... Can you Honorable call members, allow me to deal with a, a member in front of me. Honorable Deputy Speaker, in your ruling, you said that such a decision would have to be made in the appropriate structures of parliament. Did yes. you say that? Yes. We agree with you entirely. So we're yeah. saying maybe this matter should be deferred to Chief Whips to have a, a brief consultation about what to do and how to take the process forward. You have a problem, Kenina, because the Ulutuli House is turning into member, an interest group. Honorable Kwang support ANC. Address me. Address me. Yes, yes, I'm proposing the proposal okay. from the UDM says. Take your seat. This matter. No, no, I've, but I've you're asking you. me to conclude my point. I've heard you, Honorable Can Member. Can I conclude my point, please? Conclude if you don't mind. And finish, yes. We are asking that this matter be deferred to Chief Whips to have a discussion and a consultation around it. It's a, it's a structure of parliament, isn't it? Okay. The issue that you are saying, we're proposing that this matter, we should do it via secret ballot, and we're saying it should be taken to that structure so that we can have a discussion about it. If you're saying an appropriate structure of parliament must deal with it, it means you yourself can't deal with it right now. Okay. Honorable members, uh, honorable member, the uh, programming committee confirmed this meeting today. There will be no change. Order, Deputy Speaker. Yes, honorable I rise under Rule 92. Yes.
Deputy Speaker, what is so difficult for you as ANC members to use the secret ballot? Honourable Member. Why are you afraid of Honourable using member. the secret ballot if you are sure about your numbers? Honourable Member, I have ruled on this matter. No, no, just clarify me. As ANC, what are you afraid member, for? Take your seat. We want to save this country from Zuma. Please. Honourable Member, take your seat. Honourable Members, we have uh, uh, done with this matter. Yes, Honourable the Member. Speaker, the honourable, no, take your seat. There's a member at the back there. What are you raising, Honourable Member? Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I just wanted to request you, Deputy Speaker, to make sure that the House understands that we're just here for debate. Then when we go for voting, the members can raise all those things. Not By anymore. the way, Deputy Speaker, the members must know we are still going to vote as the ANC, and, but we are not going to take instruction from them. Thank you. Honorable members. Go ahead, Honorable Member. Go ahead. Uh, Deputy Speaker, it's, we would like to call on you to allow the debate to proceed. The Honorable Maimani is waiting. We are ready to debate the matter. We are ready to vote when the time comes. The matter of voting arises after we have debated. We would like to proceed with the business of the day. Thank you. Thank you. We'll do that. That's exactly. Honorable Madisha, you are the last person on this matter. Sorry, Stan, uh, Honorable, Ma uh, honorable um, member, no, no, no. I have uh, mentioned uh, Honorable Kaul. Okay. No, 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 no. No, no, no. 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 Honorable Madisha, please go ahead. Uh, thank you, thank you, uh, Deputy Speaker. You have uh, uh, quoted a number of instances which actually say that we must go on, okay? That we must not have this thing. That the secret ballot is actually extremely important. I mean, when the president gets elected, it is through the secret ballot. The Honourable, instance of uh, Honourable Member, Goyama Honourable Member, and so on. Honourable Member, the, the issue of the secret ballot uh, Honourable Member, is to the side. No, I am saying therefore that uh, you are wrong. Yeah, okay. you are wrong, Deputy Speaker. Okay, and we therefore have got to follow that which is correct. If you follow that route, then you are absolutely unfair. There's got to be a secret ballot. Honourable Otherwise, members, Mr. Zuma will be member, there to vote for a particular point that he wants himself. Honourable members, uh, we have made rulings on this matter before. No, 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 no. Honourable member, no, don't do that. Why are you going to come? No, don't do that. Take your seat. Why you have you no right. Come? No, no, no. Take your seat. Why are you going to come? Honourable members, we have... Uh, made I'm rulings on this matter house. before, and uh, joint rules made rules on this matter. The courts have pronounced themselves on this matter. We will not deviate from that decision now. Members must prepare themselves, if they wish to do that, to take up this matter in the structures. Today we are proceeding with the debate as uh, in the procedures as agreed to this morning and today. And that's where Mr. Maimani, Honorable Maimani, please proceed. Deputy Speaker. Deputy Speaker. Honorable Maimani, please proceed. Deputy Speaker, but I'm, I'm, I'm calling for your attention. I, I, I'm calling for your attention. Well, why, Honorable? Uh, I'm, what I'm, I'm raising on a point of order. What's your point Speaker. of order, Honorable Member? What is the point Mr. of order? You have made decisions before like that. Don't, don't, don't shortcut anything. The simple thing is that, okay, subject the decision to the House then. When it comes to voting, you must subject the decision to the House and you must remember that even if you steamroll a decision through, 
your narrow majoritarian approach is still subject to constitutional challenge. Honorable because member. Because it cannot be correct. Honorable that member. We vote for a person we are through a ballot which is secret and then later on we have to remove him. We must vote open. Take your seat. There are Gupta ministers here. Your honorable member. Honorable member, you are out of order. Completely out of order. And please understand, honorable members, we are not allowing any more hands, please. Let's allow the debate to proceed. Yes, let's proceed. Honorable uh, Maimani, proceed. Chair, Deputy Speaker. No, honorable members, I have said that we are proceeding with the uh, Deputy meeting. Speaker. No, no. Honorable rise, member, no. I, can I be recognized, please? I have recognized you and I'm saying no, sir. No, but please can, accept no, that. You have not recognized please me. Please accept can't that. Recognize me and say no. Honorable members, I'm not allowing you to proceed on this matter. Can you allow me to proceed on Chair, this? It's on a different matter. Honorable Deputy members, Speaker, it's on a different matter. What is it? What is the different matter? Sorry, Chair. Deputy Speaker, I, I, I just wanted to alert the House on two issues, on two constitutional issues. One. Everybody has a right to vote. And two, the Bill of Rights, Section 14, Number D, says that we have a right to privacy. And in light of the victimization that the, the Chief Whip of the EFF is speaking honorable of, honorable member, you are that out of right order. Must on be a point of order, honorable, honorable, honorable Deputy member, Speaker, please. on a point of order, yes. for the sake of progress, I would propose that we vote on this matter for the sake of progress because we also have rights as as members of parliament we are here to debate this matter we cannot be distracted by people who doesn't want to be part of this house can we vote on this matter honorable house Chair, deputy okay. yes, Chair, you can't Proceed. vote on a constitutional thank issue you. thank Proceed. you deputy uh, speaker uh, go ahead go ahead thank member. you very much deputy speaker i just want us to be reminded of the fact that we have a rule book and that in terms of the rules of this parliament deputy speaker once you have given a considered ruling on the matter and i refer you to 92 6 which reads which reads you might learn something if you just shut up for a bit it reads that no point of order, Deputy Speaker, it reads that no point of order may be raised in response to a considered ruling, which you have already made, Deputy Speaker. I really want to propose that we uphold the rules of this House and that all points of order following your ruling be ruled out of order. I have honorable done that, Honorable Deputy honorable Speaker. Members. Honorable, honorable members, Deputy Speaker. I have, I have suggested... Honorable Deputy Speaker. No. I wish to agree. I rise no, to agree no. with the proposal honorable that member. has been honorable made. Kwang Kwang. Can I help you, sir? Honorable like Kwang Kwang, you, you yes. are out of order. Nobody allowed you to speak in the first place. So take your seat. No, take your seat. Whether you are rising or not, honorable member, I have pointed out to you that we have ruled on this matter. Honorable Maimani, I request you now to proceed. I'm not allowing anybody. But, Deputy Speaker. Speaker. Honorable Maimani, please proceed. Deputy Speaker, there's a proposal please, please, on the please, floor. On. There's a proposal on the floor. There's a proposal from the Deputy Chief Whip of the ANC. Honorable Member, there's I will deal with that matter at the appropriate time in the House. Let's proceed. Honorable Schengen, with respect, sir, can we allow us to proceed? Go ahead, Schengen. Honorable Speaker, honorable members, I just wanted to ask a question, sir, you know, so that I can be enlightened. Why do you allow this debate? Because you have made a ruling here. And the chief whip actually did this. Why, why do you allow them? And people stand without you recognizing them. And you allow them to do that. We have all the power to say they must sit down. We have all the power to say they must, they must leave, the, leave the house. 
Not having my money, proceed.